Welcome to the first episode of Dazed or Blazed. How's it going, world? Welcome to the first episode of uh, Dazed or Blazed. Unbelievable. It's happening, Badger. Talked about it. We got to it. Here we are. The big, bright lights. Well, microphone. Here we go. Yeah, well, let's let's tell everyone what we're going to do here. Every week, we're going to put food on your table. Yep, right, we're right here picking winners every week. Uh, we're also going to lay out who you should be picking up on the waiver wires this year, fantasy football. Let's, uh, let's win some money for you guys. Yeah, and how you should pair winning with cannabis or uh, your favorite uh, adult beverage. It, you know, whatever helps you focus and pick those winners, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, I think we should introduce ourselves a little bit. Like, why would you listen to us? You know, A, you're you're insane. Or uh, you're tired of paying uh, these hacks on the internet, 500 bucks for a pick. Yeah, they call me Badger. Uh, I've been running in this fantasy football circuit since about 2012. Badger League goes way back. You know, we have like, a nice trophy for it. Like looking in the newspaper for stats the next yeah, week? Beckett Magazine, you know. Yeah, OC Register. Yeah, checking out. Checking out all the, the facts printed on the paper, you know? Yeah, that's old days. I mean, that was underground fantasy football. Yeah. I mean, I've been in it since 1988. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> and our commissioner was a little dirty. He would plug in players after kickoff. So he's cheating. <laughs> She's a cheater all the way. I learned the hard way. There you go. <laughs> that's when you still had to write in your players, right? You couldn't even pick them online? No. You had to call in, and if the commissioner wasn't cleaning his pool or his wife's yelling at him, you would write them down. So, uh, yeah, that, that's why you should lis- listen to us because we've gone through it. I mean, I started gambling uh, when my mom's boyfriend took me to Los Alamitos. You hit him at the ponies, huh? Yeah, it's oh, a racetrack. Started me young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave him like four bucks, and he came back with, I think, $4.80. Was he was he parent of the year that year? He was, PTA. <laughs> <laughs> My shirt said PTA, kid. So your first hit was for 80 cents, and uh, you were hooked ever since, yeah. huh? Pure chalk. <laughs> My first hit, I was working NFL Red Zone, had a 17 parlay going, $100, $100 steamer. <laughs> oh. uh, my, my paycheck was about 300 bucks. That parlay paid about 1400 and I don't know if you remember, the Giants were playing the Eagles. The Eagles needed to score. It was a it was a three point spread. The spread was three. Yeah. What year was this? This was two thousand and eleven. Okay. It was the notorious Deshaun Watson punt return. Unbelievable. I hit live on set. I uh, I got a little loud. Siciliano told me to <laughs> shut up in the back. And yes. I, I didn't care. I won fourteen hundo. Okay. Know? Okay. Two questions. How did you put the play in? Like what what platform? Like how did you go? Oh, to that Vegas? was Bodog, Bovada. Oh, Bovada, Bovada, a long time. <laughs> offshore, <laughs> Singapore. Right. Dude, I love when you call offshore. You go, I'll take the Yankees, and they're all, uh, sir. I don't see this on the hockey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't understand it. But yeah, it was Bovada. Yeah, uh, that fourteen hundred actually got taxed, and I got about Whoa. I got about seven fifty. But uh, <laughs> yes. yeah. that, that's how it got me hooked in, into sports betting. You know? Yeah. Why show up to work? Yeah. And, yeah. And how old were you at the time? I was uh, 22. Okay. Did you quit your subway job? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. My red zone job, instantly I was gone. <laughs> yeah. Like, no one's going to tell you how to make that sandwich. No, nah, never. Yeah. My first job was Kentucky. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, you were kind of high up in the uh, uh, baseball world. Oh, uh, well, I was a peripherally involved in, in the Major League Baseball workforce. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm not an umpire. Uh, and I'm not a you coach. Were bigger than that, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was uh, serving cokes and hot dogs, <laughs> and that's kind of important because people are thirsty. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who do you remember more, the umpire or the guy that sold you the hot dog? Oh, the guy who's who's giving me the dog. And, uh, I'll yeah. never forget you when you sell me an eighteen dollar beer. <laughs> right, Art, Artie Marino. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll get into Artie Marino and the Angels later. Is yeah. he going to be on the show? Uh, you know, I called him, but he's he's too busy um, just dismantling the Angels. And suing and, the MLB. And yeah. doing the parking lot so he can park more people. Yeah, he's asking if Shohei has another tendon to blow out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, that's blazed. Yeah, that's oh, super wow. blazed. That, that's on the list. Where's that siren? We need that. Uh, I don't know. You mean this one? Yeah. Arrest Artie Marino. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just terrible. But we'll get into that later. So, right, that's why we know fantasy football. I'm a the only back-to-back champion in my fantasy football league. My team name was Smack Back-to-Back. How about you? Like, I, got, I got two two names on the trophy. Uh, not back-to-back, though. No, but right. one and twice out of the 13 years we've been going at it. So 
Now these are good players, right? That you played against. Oh yeah, they're all avid football fanatics. Sharks, yeah, sharks, like absolutely. just terrible sharks. I mean, this is your first year in the league. You're gonna learn a lot about uh, the people we play with. You know. Well, I got guys who hop on the waiver wire at one in the morning. Yeah, so that, that'll happen here. <laughs> That's sick. That's an addict. <laughs> all right. So um, I feel like I'm listening to two people talk about a world I know little about. I love sports. I don't understand this whole fantasy sports world. Well, Paul, I don't know how to say this, but you always have to have action in some kind of sport. <laughs> I, I'm just going to get right to it. Um, not having actions like having sex with four rubbers. <laughs> I mean, come on. Not man. how you're supposed to do it. Come on, man. In today's world, I thought that's how you do it. Right? Well, you can be a Trojan, man, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that you got to have some action. So fantasy okay. football is a methadone of gambling. So if you lost your ass by not listening to us and, you know, betting the wrong team, and you called Gambling Anonymous, then you would go to fantasy football. That would be your next step okay. to get some action on a low end. But to answer your question, yeah, fantasy football, you're drafting your own players for, for those that don't know, and you get those players all year. They belong to you. So it's not once and done. They don't just – or you did. You're, you're running this like you're the GM of that football okay. team. You're making all the decisions for the team from, from your first draft pick uh, to the waiver wires each week. You know, when the bye week comes around for your quarterback, you gotta go swoop up another quarterback, and it's just uh, you're you're your own GM. I think it's cool uh, for just football fans in general. Yeah, makes sense, right? Yeah, well, there there's so many facets that's that's built off of the first draft the draft. So what's really important is how you select draft selection. You know, like who's gonna pick first? Because whoever picks first gets Mahomes or McCaffrey. Yeah, right. You know, I'm just throwing that out there. But the way some some leagues choose that order is a 40 yard dash. Uh, we're picking, picking numbers out of a hat. Uh, who can hit a, a wiffle ball the furthest? Who c- you're kidding me. They really have contests to see who's to see the draft order and okay. last place. Let's just, I mean, you're now you're really going to do it. Last place has to get a tattoo. I mean, there are rules. <laughs> It it really gets gnarly. How do you find a league to join? Is it just your friends? You form one? Do you go online and, and participate in a community? So, so this day and age, there are many platforms you can go on to, whether you want to do daily fantasy picks and you're picking just for that week or you want to go all year long. There's a lot of platforms out there. We, were you doing with our friends, you know, it's the... You get your little trophy. You know, yeah, you because you said you were in a group of 12 people. Or yeah, something. you get to talk smack, yeah. you know, bragging rights. So right. just like Rick said, it's a it's a cheaper way to gamble, right? So at the beginning of the year, you're going to come to your party or your draft, and you're going to buy in for 200 bucks, and that 200 bucks is going to last 16 weeks of football for you. Right. But then you feel like you've got some control over it. Because I'm, I don't know if I need action. I just need results. I'm a fan of the Minnesota Vikings, have been since I was born there. God help me. Uh, all my whole life, I'm saying, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why? I wouldn't do that. What's the matter with you guys here? So now I get to take control of that team. That team, or, or you get to take control of maybe players from another team, and when your Vikings aren't playing so well, now you have something else to cheer for. Right, which would be every week. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You, Madsen, Madison, right? Yeah. The running back yeah. for the yeah. Vikings. Right. I mean, he's a little sleeper. I mean, I think if we're talking top top 10 picks of your fantasy draft, maybe even top five to, to shorten this segment, Justin Jefferson's top five in every league. Got it. Well, I don't know well. why. I would never draft a wide receiver number one. Oh, man. PPR, I think the game's evolving. Uh, I think you're seeing these running backs undervalued by their, by their franchise. No, no, So we got rid of Dalvin Cook. I'm, again, I'm going to talk Vikings here. Why did we dump one of the top running backs in the world? One I word, mean, chandelier. No one wants to pay the running back anymore. It's, a, right. it's an undervalued, underappreciated position. And they don't think they can play that long. PPR, the, the league's changing. Just right. like every sport's evolved, the league is, has turned into a, a passing league. You can't throw for... 5,000 yards, what are you doing, you know? Right. Can I give you a silly fan story? So I'm considerably older than most of you guys here. No. And when I was a kid in the 60s. Acid. (laughs) Well, (laughs) I remember I came from the Midwest, and we'd come out to the West Coast. I I, I went to University of Michigan. We'd come out to the West Coast, and we'd get our ass whooped. And because everybody would, the guy would throw the ball, and everybody would say, he can't do that. Yeah, West what, Coast. <laughs> What's he doing? Running gun. You got to run. You run. Wow. You run this way. You run that way. It's the triple option play. You run this one, that one, or that whatever. There yeah. was no throwing because it's frozen. It was a giant hook of ice in outdoor stadiums in the Midwest in the middle of winter. I'm sorry you live there. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we got passionate about football, maybe because we had nothing else to do. And so oh, for yeah. us, we lived and died with the team. And it didn't yeah. matter whether the team lost or not. You came back because it was always next year. I grew up mostly in 
Detroit next year. This is the year, right? You guys Detroit. Me this is the year. M and M. Yeah, you, you heart man. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know where to start with that, one, but I'm glad you're here. It's therapy, you know. We we need we need help because yeah. we, we invest ourselves in these teams. So now you tell me I got some control over it. I can't just sit there and scream at them or cry. I can I can take control. You can of my bench energy. them. You, I think if you're listening to us, you will you'll have many weeks of of happiness instead of crying. <laughs> yeah. you know? I like that. back wow. to back whole, schmack. Whole different experience of football here. Probably. Schmack. <laughs> yeah, and the fun thing about uh fantasy sports, uh, it's actually legal in California, so you can hop onto these websites like DraftKings and yeah, which is insane. Hey, if DraftKings, if if you're looking for a real marketing uh, guys, oh, we're here. We're here. That last. I'm sorry, I got to talk about this before next week. If you need help for the next ballot to to promote this, we're not going to have Indian tribes on billboards telling you why not to vote for this. We're going to have pictures of parking lots where you have to meet the bookie to hand you hundred bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing though wasn't the there was a whole initiative where the indian tribes were trying to fight online yeah but it doesn't yeah, doesn't make sense they just wanted control of it uh, of the sports market you know and uh i mean either way I, they should have just approved it I, I i won't go to yamava i'm not going to go play the tables i'm not going to go we had no. the general manager of yamava in here talking well, let about me talk to that guy yeah <laughs> yeah what the hell yeah man? come on man <laughs> you really yeah, missed I'm out not, on this i'm one, not man. driving to morongo in 200 degree heat just to put 10 bucks on the rams <laughs> I would actually drive to Morongo to play on the sports. I'm not driving to Morongo to go play slots. No, it's rigged. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> you lose your ass. Yeah. So, so right. Um, and yeah. What, so, and when they want to, when the lawyers want to send nasty letters, could you just said it's rigged? Where should they send them? Should we give your email address here so they know where to send all this? To robertceaseandassist.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <all right. laughs> or UCI. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't send so, it to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just one cease and desist. That's all. Then we're, we're good, guys. We promise. So you're you're right. But you it, wouldn't go because that was the whole appeal of. They got huge. Sports, who, who got uh, huge books out there at, the, at these casinos? No, Indian they don't. Casinos. No. At the casinos, not not no, here. They, oh no. yeah, in Vegas, but not the Indian tribes. But they got some. Don't they have some sports books? Not in California. It's illegal, but you it's can illegal. But you can bet on fantasy, somehow. right? So okay. the loophole in the system is that this fantasy thing's a skill. And uh, it's not just a, a random blind bet. You're going to prove that. Back to back, they, schmack. They said it. They already they already passed it. It's already in the, in the schmack, system. daddy. <laughs> I'm not proving anything. Do we have to leave his mic on during all this? <laughs> we turn it off for a period of time. No. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to learn here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> California has um, decided that it's a skill, so it's legal, just like. Because Scratchers, you're some action. multiple you're, players, and you're making the best team out of those players. Considering yes, data and everything else, yeah. you're making some choices. Vote for Badger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I can go online and do that. I can't do that at the sports books though out in uh, the Indian casinos. No, I no sports books at the Indian casinos. There casino. actually no, aren't. Any. There's none. Because yeah. I guess I, they have big sports bars though, and they have sports all the games, bars. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no action though, which makes no sense. Yeah. So Paul, if you go to Yahoo, ESPN, CBS Sports, mm -hmm. there's thousands of leagues that need someone to join their league to complete their uh, 10, 10 to 14 team, team. yeah right team uh, okay. ownership or you can be friends with us he is right and <laughs> just, yeah. just today or we start, right? <laughs> or we can start a league and we'll just go over to your house and eat all your food <laughs> please don't <laughs> i mean i want to i want to go to newport coast <laughs> I don't think they'll let you in. But that kind of Whoa! <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm with Paul Roberts. <laughs> Send your letters here. All right. So this thing has really exploded. And you guys each and every week can give some inside baseballs, they say. You can tell me no, the inside look. Football. Like football only. Yeah, no, right? no. Everything. Football. Everything. So, so right now we're going to focus on football. This is uh, we live and die for football. I played right. college football. Uh, very passionate about it. Where did you play? University of Nevada. Oh, cool. Colin Kaepernick, shout out to my old quarterback. Tackle or guard? Guard or tackle? I was guard. Holy pulling guard. I, I was going to say, you, you kind of threw me when you came in. We hadn't met. You're a big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm a tall guy. You're a big guy. I'm a door frame, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he changes the light bulbs. <laughs> yeah. We and know, then, and then Rick, Rick's a fan. Rick's just a, a football fan. Uh, every year, Rick and I sign up for this thing called Circa Sports, mm -hmm. Circa Millions. Uh, you go to Vegas, five picks a week we're pretty much cappers uh, if you think you're good at sports betting and you think you're a football fan you should go sign up for circus a thousand bucks to enter really you get five picks a week okay it pays out quarterly you're picking uh, this, the, who's going to win on yeah, the team by the, the, spread. By the spread against the spread okay right 
Uh, and first place is a million, and it goes all wow. the way down. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and the quarterly prizes are like 250000 every three months. Yeah, wow. And last place even gets fifty k. Yep. And where do you do this? This is online? This is, uh, you have to go into Las Vegas and sign up through, uh, what do they call it? One of their proxies, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then you pay your money, and how many people are in this thing? There's 6,000 entries. Wow. It's okay. an aggregate. The jackpot just grows. So it, it was like 1.8 million. And are you guys in this? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And how do you, how do you know what to pick? Because I, I, I think I know about pick football. Pick the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> don't pick the Vikings. Don't bet with your heart ever. Yeah, right. As, as that's, a Buffalo Bills fan, don't ever bet with your heart. And uh, that's been my problem. I bet I vote with my heart all the time. Here. Yeah. I like a player. I like a team. I, I like the story. I like the the odd. You know, well, you were talking about Jimmy Garoppolo playing in uh, the Raiders. The Raiders thing. And you're like, somehow there's some motion there or something here. I just don't think uh, – Rick, uh, Rick is a big, uh, big fan of the Raiders week one. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I am. They're at home, right? And no, they're, they're not. They're, they are. The Raiders are at home. They're playing the Broncos. First game? Huh? Yeah. Okay. So e- here's my take. Whoa, we, we are in Denver. Oh, I didn't correct. I'm so sorry. They're at the mile high. Those two teams always play a field goal game. They never get blown out. And I am not a believer in Russell the Muscle. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm the I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. Uh, I think they spent a lot of money on that offensive line in Denver. I'm not a believer in Mr. Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh. I, I I'm, gonna I'm, argue. I'm not either, I'm, and I don't know why. I, I again, I'm just reacting emotionally. Devontae I Adams. I <laughs> yeah, stud, stud. Josh Jacobs missed the whole whole preseason. Look, I used to be a running back in Pop Warner, <laughs> and. <laughs> Oh, wow. If, if you let me save, you then. actually, freshman, I was starting Catella, but um, <laughs> if you another day. if you let me rest <laughs> my legs for uh, four months extra, <laughs> I'm going to come out fresh, like sprint. And I got to say this: Does the owner of the Raiders, Davis Junior., does he have the worst haircut in the world? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Think all that money you can fix that, huh? Bowler. <laughs> Jeez, he looks like uh, who's the, who's the guy from South Korea? Come Jim, 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 <laughs> oh, Kim Jong Il, same barber. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Right, okay. Oh no! Whoa, easy there, Paul. I just threw that in. Yeah, I'm not I sure you'd like it. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> I, I don't. Want, right. So, Paul, to answer your, should we say? Paul? Was there a question? Does he have a code name? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. We're street we're just, name. We're just, we're just flowing right I now. I think he man. needs a street right. name. I need a street name. Okay. Yeah. Pee Weezy. Pee Weezy. I need a street named after me. Yeah. <laughs> D boy. No, no, no. Never. Detroit. Paul. Detroit Paul. Minnesota Detroit. Paul. Yeah. God, I didn't you got to say it the right way, though. It's Detroit. It's not Detroit. Detroit. Right. Detroit. So, so it's, I'm glad we have Detroit in here because we're explaining, you know, how you pick, how you bet, what's allowed. This is the world that I, I don't know. I know it exists. I know Paul, nothing about it. Paul, you remind me of, uh, Old school when um, Will Ferrell. <laughs> no, no. When Will Ferrell goes, they go, "Hey, you want a party?" And he goes, "No, I got to go to Home Depot with my wife." <laughs> you nailed it. That's me, Paul. What do you do on Sundays? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get you dialed in, Paul. I play with my grandkids. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh no, they, so, so they use you to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> good, he's a good dad. That, that they do. Yeah, oh, that's man. The truth. I tell you, Newport Coast. I drop them off there too. <laughs> 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 Anyway, so um, yeah, so th- that's Ricky why Ricky Bobantino. Come man. on, now. let's talk about your first five picks. Let's talk about it. Like, so you're going to get into it. Give us some. Okay, first of up? all, McCaffrey. I'm just going to say McCaffrey is kind of a sucker bet because he, even though he played the entire season last year, man, how can you forget he gets hurt like every? You know, I'd be picking up the backup right there. Uh, I Elijah. For, yeah, Mitchell? right away, handcuffers. But to answer your question. Um, I won back to back championships by using the two running back, running back heavy. So my first two picks were running backs. Always. Always. So I'm. Best available? Best available. Okay. Yeah, but. but nobody picks running backs. The Vikings got rid of Dalvin Cook. I'm not, not sure who Paul's back. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so. Nobody needs running backs. Yeah. So, um, uh, God. No, you don't need Justin Jefferson? So this is the, this is the thing with running backs, right? Yeah. Uh, there's what? How many teams in the NFL? Thirty-two teams. Yes, sir. So there's thirty-two starting running backs in the NFL. Got it. When when you're on the field, there's three receivers on the field at all times. Yeah. So right. the the whole the whole principle there is you want to draft running backs first because there's not going to be as many of them later. Mm. You could draft receivers 
late in the, in the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th round, no problem. Right. Running backs are going to get real thin at, at that time. Because, again, I don't know that, what yeah. you guys know about this, but it seems like running backs aren't as prized as they once were. Well, they are. In fantasy, they are. Okay. In fantasy, they are. In uh, in the real world of football, they're not. No. Uh, Paul, it's because they get the ball more often. Like, you get a point for every rush. You get a point for every five yards. Oh, okay. You get six points, depending on your league, for a touchdown, every catch. So the more tools that your running back has, the more possibilities to score. So I would grab Eckler, Barkley, or Bijan Robinson. Now, the only reason Bijan, uh, you know, he's a rookie, but – isn't the coach from the Titans? Didn't I think the guy who coached Henry is also now with Bijan? The I'd, I'd have to look that triple up. verify yeah, that. We'll have, to, we'll, have to, we'll have to look into that. Yeah, so one of those three would be my my pick, and then coming back up, Najee Harris is just sitting there. I just feel Ritter's going to open it up for Najee. So that's my first two picks, and then I'll go quarterback. Depending who's there, you know, and, and I'm okay. I don't, I don't want to give you all these tips, Badger. No, no, you got. We're giving the people the tips. I'm, <laughs> I'm not listening. To your your strategy is not my strategy. <laughs> Believe me and you, brother. So what's your strategy? He's he's running back. He starts with the running back. I think if you're a top five pick uh, for your draft, you I think Jefferson's number one. Yeah, uh, that's what the, I would say. The, right? the O line for the Vikings is atrocious this year. Uh, it's going to be a, a fast throwing type offense. I know. I know you're knocking Kirk Cousins earlier, but uh, if you look at his fantasy. From last year, Kirk Cousins was one of the top scoring quarterbacks in the fourth quarter. Yeah, right? In the fourth quarter, he's he got a, the numbers. He just doesn't the the rap is he doesn't seem to deliver at the right moments here. Yeah, but for game. fantasy, Kirk, Kirk's a good late quarterback to fall back on. Uh, you 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 mentioned the handcuff rule, Rick. What are you, what are you talking about when you're talking about handcuffs? Well, you, you said Christian McCaffrey handcuff to Elijah Mitchell. What do you what do you mean by that? Well, in the late rounds, you want to start picking the back up to your running backs because they do get hurt easily. So you start looking at um, Tyler Ajir, right? Um, I mean, that's a big one for Atlanta because the rookie may go down. Sam- and he started last year. He was a great running back last year. Maybe yeah. not great, but he was decent. Yeah. Huh. Elijah Mitchell for San Francisco. I mean, these are so obvious. Uh, Priest, um, handcuff. Uh, Dalvin Cook, because Dalvin Cook is a chandelier. He gets hurt easy. I know I say chandelier yeah, a lot because he, they break easy. Oh, but okay. Brees Hall, Brees Hall is coming off that knee surgery. He's expected to play week one, and he's not going to be 100%. So I think Dalvin might be a great pick for that Brees Hall handcuff, you know? You're right. So that's what I mean. When you when I say handcuff, pick up, pick the backup, because these guys will go down. I mean, they're, they're getting hit pretty hard. I kind of look at handcuffs a little differently. Uh, okay. I believe in uh, the handcuff when it comes to Maybe a quarterback and a receiver, or a quarterback and a tight end. So, oh, you're looking at exacta. Yeah, I'm looking at the exacta box. Uh, if, if I'm in a position to grab one of those guys, uh, you're talking double, triple your point value on, on both players. So, I okay. think that's a good strategy. And that's how, my. And strategy. Where do you figure out the point value? How do I know what the point value is? Uh, so are? the league, we, we mostly play PPRs, which is a points per reception league. So every okay. time they complete a pass, it's one point. But it's going to come down to your league settings. You know, there's half PPRs. There's some people like to have. 300 point weeks where they have bonuses for so where does a newbie like me go where do where do, I've, I've watched sports my whole life but and i know fantasy sports exist i don't really understand all this stuff you're talking about i'm going to learn every week here we right? use yahoo sports for one of our leagues we use espn uh for another one of our fantasy football leagues okay. and uh you could click on yahoo.com league. fantasy and when you click on the leagues it's gonna it's gonna break out is it a ppr league is it a half ppr is it Right, and you can just hit join league for free, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that right. simple? But yeah. then I can't go to Home Depot this week. Right, exactly. <laughs> You're making me make choices here. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got a lightning round <clears throat> coming. you got five, ten minutes here. Let's yeah. blow the horn and tell everybody what do you want to pick this week. You're, this is week yeah. one. You guys are getting ready to do your draft? Is that it? it so, 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 look, well, we just J- Jays or Blaze, we're going to go with uh, – these are our, these are our picks for Week One NFL. Right. Um, I'm sorry, you did your uh, yeah, no, yeah. You did your draft already. Now we're doing we're pick, pick. These one. are locker boxes. So, right. Paul, if you need gas money to get home from Vegas, <laughs> you're going to play these picks. Right. We're, we're gonna we're gonna uh, I, one one man, uh, Mister Cruz, once vehicle, told me, you know, I don't need gas money. Yeah, <laughs> you got the <laughs> Nissan Leaf. <laughs> if you got a plug in at the ice cream world right there, Eddie's on the way home from Vegas. Uh, you could watch this game in your car, you know. <laughs> Sleep in the Southwest Terminal. I just want to. I just want to go on record. Uh, <laughs> this this season, I'm going to take whoever the Arizona Cardinals are playing every week. I think the Arizona Cardinals have already 
tanked on the year. They don't yeah. even have a starting quarterback for next week. They yeah. got rid of Colt McCoy. You heard of that? They have no starting quarterback for they week one. They have no starting quarterback for week one. They have a, a, a sixth round, sixth round, sixth round draft pick in there at quarterback right now. Uh, and they pick, they got to pick someone up. Josh Dobbs, they picked up from the Browns. They might as well put a sign on State College saying who wants to eat. <laughs> so yeah. that's, uh, right. my, my week one picks, uh, my locker boxes. I'm going, uh, Jags against the Colts. Think, What's I the spread, in sir? Indy, three and Minus three and a half. Three and a half. Uh, I like that. They're in Indy there, right, Rick? I like it. Right, Rick? Yes, they are. And then uh, I'm taking the Commanders. I think that's going to be Ooh. an absolute blowout. They don't have – Josh Dobbs didn't even practice in the preseason. Well, you're right. The spread's offers. only five and a half. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to jump on that one. Those uh, are my two locker boxes. That's Badger's picks. Lock them in. Go ahead and uh, buy your wife dinner on, on me. You know, yeah. you're welcome. In, in the bag already. Yeah, in the bag. Mastros or Sonic. <laughs> 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 right. Well, um, I'm going to just – Open up the wallet with the Vikings at home versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Please, please tell, give me some hope. They're there. minus six and a half, Paul. What does that mean? We go. What does he mean? Minus what six and mean? a half. They, they're losing in minus six players. No, that means they have to win by seven for you to cash your ticket. Oh, okay. who's the quarterback over there? <laughs> oh, Alex. Is that a? Is that Baker Mayfield? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the oh. Baker man. Oh man, God, he. Sh- you know Come what? On, man. Ever since he started doing the commercials for, uh, <laughs> was it State Farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's he, all downhill. He, he forgot. That was the end of his football. Like, what do I do? End of your career when you? <laughs> yeah, like what's the play? Oh uh, no, it's supposed to be on set. So yeah, I'm going with the Vikings with the super lock. I'm going with the Raiders. Um, now you just you're just saying that because you know I'm a Vikings fan. I was born there. I would <laughs> curse the root for this team. You just like make me feel good. Vikings take, aren't take them. Well, They're gonna okay. win week one. Adam okay. Th- Silent Thielen got traded, but um, <laughs> yeah. you got Jordan Addison though, man. Oh, you're right. He's oh, a my beast. Goodness, he's a new and improved version of Thielen. He's a super but sleeper. Adam Thielen was a homeboy. He was yeah. from like some college in Minnesota. Where, where, where did, Addison's from SC, baby. Where did Thielen go? <laughs> um, God, where did he go? Thielen. Yeah, he's a scoop. He's uh, a sleeper. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna get a lot of targets. He's in uh, Panthers. Oh he's yeah, gonna, he's gonna Panthers, be that kid. Right, he's gonna be Bryce Young's number one uh, yes. receiver. For I sure. agree, and he's he's gonna he's gonna be like in the he fourth in, round. He did it in the preseason, right? He did it in the preseason. He'll do it all year. He remembers the plays yeah, exactly. So how, how do you guys know who to pick? Because so many of the teams now, like the Vikings, don't even put anybody in in preseason. You don't even see what's what they're gonna do. The Vikings lost all their preseason games here. Uh, well, and they have the last three years. We so. do a, uh, we do. I do a lot of my own research. Uh, I, I, I don't want to shout anybody out, you know. You don't want to give us some, some insights. I'll give you the insight. I, I like to, I like to read about uh, things with Action Network. Um, I like, I like doing my research on ESPN. You know, I like le- looking at. Right now, we're going to pick on rookie quarterbacks. You know, that's right. we're going to pick on teams that don't have experience. I feel like the poor guy who is always, because I do this too, picking a stock in the stock market. It's whatever is on the front page of the paper. Ooh, I want that one. And by the time it's on the front page, it's either somebody puffed it up artificially or it's too late. That's what we're here for. We're, we're here to right. eliminate the guessing for you. Yeah. You're just right. going to listen to us. If, if you want a, a winning recipe, put in our picks and only our picks. Uh, write down your picks for the week if you did better than us. Maybe one day we'll open up a phone line. You can yeah. give us a right, phone maybe. Phone. Yeah. <laughs> just, just rip us. Yeah. Just leave it. Yeah. So, um, our goal is to have a ten dollar newsletter. Like, just that's huge. Yeah. Ten dollars. We're not saying a hundred. We're not saying a thousand. But we're gonna prove our product. We're gonna be above fifty percent easily winning percentage. And then um, we're going to bust out that whopping $10 fee. Yeah, I'd, right? I'd pay $10 but, if you could really tell me who was going to win. Hell yeah. Exactly. Can you imagine? So, hey, you didn't let me finish. So I got the Vikings. I, love, I got I, the Bears. That's all I wanted to hear was the Vikings. The Bears versus the Packers at I, home. I like the Bears. My God. There are only two. Get out of here. Justin Fields is going to have a year, man. No love, Jordan. None. Right. <laughs> no <laughs> love, Jordan. Okay. And then. A little inside joke about the Packers. All right. Yeah. Nice, Paul. And up. then the Raiders, the Raiders, the Thugs and oh, Southwest. Are they still playing? They, they are. <laughs> They're in Las Vegas now. <laughs> yeah. Remember Where Southwest <laughs> banned, banned them because on Sundays their fans would fly from L.A. to Oakland, yeah. and they would just – air marshals would be waiting for everybody. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, believe so it. Th- those are my locker boxes. and uh, Okay. Let's take it to the bank, and then um, I guess we're going to take a break right now. All right. We'll take a break, and we'll come right back with some more of Dazed or – Blazed right here on Orange County's only community radio station, OC Talk Radio, Brand streaming live. Today's episode is brought to you by Hobdog's Rusty, Rusty Plates. Plates. 
Now, these aren't paper plates to eat off, are they? No, he's selling you license plates for your classic cars. So if I own a car like a Chevelle 58? You give Javi a call and uh, he's got your plate already redesigned, remodeled. Well, DMV cleared. He's got you covered. He scours all the swap meets in Kentucky. Everywhere. Junkyards. Fontana. <laughs> Fontana. Fun, Fontucky. Yep. Okay. Huh. Website? Hotdogsrestyplate.com. Okay. Yeah. Reach out to him. He's a friendly guy, and he's he's ready. All right. So what is your plea of the week? Please give me some call-out. Shout plea out. Plea of the week. Here we go, man. Uh I know uh, mine and Ricky's concern for the start of football season is uh, DUI players and civilians. Um, you know, let's just please uh, if you're if you're an athlete and you're playing in the NFL this year, let's just keep our hands to ourselves when we're in public. You know, we don't want to be Alvin Kamara out here slapping people outside the casino. valets. Yeah, cl- cold cl- cocking. Tyreek Hill, what Tyreek do? He slapped a, a marina attendant who told him, that's not your boat, sir. Your pontoon's over here. Look, we uh, need you guys this year, man. Uh, uh, come on, week, man. We need you on our team. So uh, What's your problem? Just make your money playing football and uh, keep your hands to yourself, please. Right. You know the saying, don't throw up between the lines. The lines is the field. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't embarrass us when we draft you. Don't embarrass your family. Could be different and just lines. hold off <laughs> until the off season. What What's wrong with you, man? Come on, man. But isn't that the way the world's going here? Who, who, who's the who's the celebrity that slapped one of her Cardi B or somebody slapped one of her fans because they said something to her? Or something? No, I, I I think that's about the microphone throwing thing. Yeah, um, right, exactly. I'm still stuck on the Chris Rock thing, which which we'll talk about. Um, he took it. I mean, I'm so proud of the way he took that slap. I mean, <laughs> but anyways, that's a whole different episode. Um, so the but play of the week is stay clean, clean it up. Let's keep it on the field this year. Right. So uh, so next week you tune in. Uh, I think Rick has some great topics lined up for next week. Best addict gambling app. BetMGM. Will they pay? Is DraftKings the top? Because we have an episode called DraftKings Slayer. That's Days to Blaze. Come and check it out each and every week right here.